What is up, Poker Brawlers? Welcome back to the Poker Ring, and today we have the Reshiram and Charizard Gold GX Premium Collection. Now, this one is highly sought after because, of course, Charizard, and everyone loves Charizard. He is Pokemon's favorite at this point. Um, I was resolved to not ending up getting this, but uh, my mom ended up sending this to me, which, shout out to my mom. Um... But these two cards alone together still cost the same amount as this entire box at the time that I'm filming this. So my thought was if I find one in the wild, I'll get it. Um, if not, just buy these cards when they come down. I think this one's now at $7. Actually, yeah, I think this is at 7 I think this one's at 20 25 So it's a little bit cheaper to buy these two individuals. But if I can find it for the retail, I would have gotten it. However, my mom went ahead and saw these at her Target in Florida and shipped him and that is really cool and i'm really struggling to get this box open all right man this box is just not all right we're gonna darium it there we go just putting that all behind me i'm not tossing everything because again my I got my puppy running around and as much as i'd love to hear the munch and crunch of plastic and plastic like things in her mouth, uh, that's totally fine with us not hearing that. All right, so here is that lovely gold Charizard and Reshram. My mom did send me two of these. I'm keeping one sealed. Um, I opened this one because the box was a little bit more damaged. It's definitely off center. Um, I think that this would get a solid PSA 9. Uh, nines and tens are popping up all over these guys. I already think there's a couple thousand PSA nines of these everything's still on express so if you want to get stuff graded do not send it right now if it's just stuff you want to get graded for fun because the express is still 250 or 300 dollars to get everything in and out to you right now to get graded and i think that that is a scam and i think psa shouldn't do that however psa also had a million subs in 2020 which was the amount of subs they had in the entirety of their company being open for nearly 20 years. There's that card for the Ultra Premium Collection. Shout out to whoever gets it. All right, and let's mix these up a little bit. But yeah, if you, like, so I have stuff that I want to get PSA graded, because I think PSA, it's just fun to get stuff graded in the abstract. I've yet to do it, but, oh man, five chilling rain, that's a lot. Um, let's make a little sandwich. There we go. And we'll end on Evolving Skies. Cool. Um, but there are a lot of cards that I wanted to get graded. Like, I really want to, uh, PSA 9 or higher of all the reverse hollows of Evolutions, right? But, um, if they don't lower their prices, they keep it at where the bulk is currently, which is $20 for bulk for them to have it, send it back. Um, most cards in a PSA 10 of evolutions are 20 to 25 dollars so if that's the case rather than sending it in i'd rather just purchase the cards but i mean people are gonna keep sending them in so hopefully they drop but we'll see in the future i am not so heavily into investing right now i like buying cards for my single collection spirit tomb that's nice it's nice um but i don't know there's a lot of product available. Um, Pokemon Center did drop all of their Evolution Premium boxes. I did not snag one of those. Um, I think they're really cool. It just, I don't know, there's a lot that I would like to invest in. However, to do that, it means that I have no money to open stuff for the channel, or I have no money to invest in my personal collection, um, or just really do anything fun. So... Uh, that's for in the future, wherever that all comes from. Look at that slack off, just holding on for dear life. So cute. Pet low reverse and Talon Flame non hollow. So I don't really know the pull rates for any of these sets anymore. Um, cause with Chilling Rain, um, I had the option to buy a second booster box, but it would have cost the same price as buying the five secret rares at the time so i just bought them all save the snorlax which i should have waited because now looking at it um including the snorlax 
all the secret rares and the Snorlax now cost the price of a booster box. So that's on me. Again, if you want to collect, there's nothing wrong with buying stuff at pre-sale prices. I do think it's a little silly. Um, there's nothing wrong with buying stuff right when a set comes out or three weeks later or three months. Typically, after your three-month mark is when you're going to see the lowest prices on average. Like the, uh, I think, what is it? It doesn't have the Chrysalia in it. It has the, I mean, just look at the Snorlax. When Snorlax first came out, wow, that's five redeems. We are not doing so hot. Uh, when Snorlax first was dropped with Chilling Rain, it was sitting at a solid 150. And here we are six months later. Um, three sets later as well, because Evolving Skies, um, Fusion Strike, and Celebrations. Yeah, so we're three sets later, and it just finally fell to, like, 80 bucks for that Snorlax. Um, and that took six months and three different sets coming out for that to happen. Um, so yeah, I do want to fill out my binders. I did definitely think about buying one of those thousand card binders to put everything into but eh, we'll see just having to fully undo all my binders because i do a lot of binder work it's just fun moving stuff around and reorganizing but uh a thousand card binder i don't know i like having the so like with the amazing rares there are nine of them in total so having all nine of them on one page is really cool to just be like, yo, look at that. I have them all. And Volcarona. And how many packs do we have? Five. We are halfway through this, and we are zero for five right now. We've yet to even get a hollow. Uh, I say we're going to get at least one trainer or full art. Because I don't count V cards because you have the same probability of chan uh, getting a V card as you do a regular hollow rare. They're interchangeable. Um, this is again a uh, redeem. One thing that I do like about Fusion Strike is they all say redeem on it and the back lets you know what color it is. You can kind of see or kind of feel the, the thickness of the card. I'm sorry, honey. I should have let her out. Oh, hey, look. TCGO. Nice. Um, Robin, get off your mom's blanket. Come on, dude. Um, sorry, it's been raining, and so I haven't let my dog out, um, and it finally stopped raining, but it's still super wet, and oh my gosh, those cards went flying, and I wanted to make a video real fast. And uh, our dog uh, definitely decided that the inside is better to use than the outside for the third time today. So let's go, Robin! And look at that. Woohoo! That brought us a Gengar Rare. All right. Well. Um. Man, I haven't done one of these videos in so long. I just go on to autopilot and I cannot think at all. Energy. So hopefully sometime this week I will be filming the price breakdown. And it may be coming before this video after. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not really sure. I've not really had the motivation to film anything or open anything. Um, opening the ETBs. My wife and I opened up. One each, two each, I don't know. Orbital V, hey, look at that. Nice, our only V card so far. Um, yeah, it's just been really tough for me to open packs just because uh, I also look at it realistically of how much I'm spending versus the cards I want. So like with Fusion Strike, right? Um, and this will be on the breakdown. So if I got the four secret rares that I want for my collection, it would cost me right now, or uh, sorry, the three secret rares, the two energy, and the flaffy would cost me $45, right? Um, I've already spent like 50 or $55 in loose packs, and the only thing I got was a Gengar V. So 
it's hard for me to keep opening this stuff when I can spend my money on the exact cards that I want. So that's where I'm at right now. And Galarian Zapdos V. It's a nice Rillaboom Reverse Hollow. Oh, that is an interesting art. He almost looks like the uh, Orcs and Goblins from the 87 Lord of the Rings. I'm going to put him back there. Why not? All right, last pack, Magic. Hopefully we get another green code card. We have had three so far. It is, or sorry, a white code card. I do see this right here. So, last pack, Magic. Let's hope we get something good. We're ending on Lightning Energy. Let's go through this. Herdier, the Gertier. Pyroar. Dream Ball, I would love this in a gold card. That would be awesome. I also can't wait for the new gold energy with um, the V-Star set. Was that? Brilliant stars? Brilliant stars. Drowsy putting you to sleep. Scraggy holding up his pants. Boldor. And we are ending on... Oh, we got a full art trainer! Gordy! Womp, womp, womp. Uh, if I remember correctly, Gordy is the least... Wanted one. I don't use any of the games. I like collecting the full arts. He'll look nice next to my rose. But, uh, wow, pretty lackluster box. I kind of want to open the other one because, uh, wow, just uh, three hits technically. Really only two. All right, well, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully I'll make a video soon and I'll see you when I see you. Bye, everyone.